Hello everybody, my name is Stephen Cox and welcome to my shop. Today's project, you know I stole that from Brad with the Texas Beard Adventures. Every time I watch his videos, I just, he goes, today's project. Welcome to Texas Beard Adventures. I'm Brad Harrell, your host, and today. Anyway, um, I want to show you guys how to take out exhaust manifold bolts. This is on a 7.3 cylinder head. It is off the truck, obviously. But this same principle applies to every bolt out there. It doesn't matter that it's an exhaust manifold bolt. I have gotten really, really good with removing bolts without breaking them, and I'm gonna show you how. Little patience, little time, and a little effort, you won't have to be drilling out bolts. It might seem like this process is gonna take a lot longer than just putting an impact on it and letting it rip, and then snapping the bolt but if you have to drill into the cylinder head while these things are on the vehicle it is a royal pain i know because i had to do one one time on a truck and it took me i believe i think it was 12 hours to drill all eight of the bolts on both sides and replace the manifolds it only had like one or two bolts holding the manifold on somehow i think somebody else had been in there whatever anyway I'm gonna get the camera showed up, uh, set. I'm gonna get the camera set up rather, and show you guys exactly my process of busting some bolts loose. So this is typically what you're gonna see is a lot of kind of corrody looking bolts. Number one, get you some good penetrating lube. I really like Knocker Loose. Works fantastic. It's uh, one of the best can versions that I've ever used. Um, I tend to like acetone and ATF also, but that kind of catches on fire, so that's not good. But soak these things down liberally um, as soon as you know that you're going to have to be taking these off. Um, you don't want to just spray these things down real quick and then immediately try to screw with it. You want to spray it down, let it sit for a couple of minutes, respray it down. Make sure you're spraying where the head is and the bolt threads down here, as well as this little shoulder area right there, because this cast iron manifold will swell up and it'll actually corrode and rust to this bolt. So I've already sprayed these down a couple of times today. And if you guys want a can of this, <clears throat> there'll be a link down in the description. You can order that on Amazon, Napa, O'Reilly's, all your major auto parts stores, tractor supply, they all carry it. So at this point, we have it all soaked. You need to get you a good quality. I like a half inch drive. Um, this one happens to be a 13 millimeter for these bolts, but a six sided bolt. Don't try this with a 12 point. And we're gonna try to break these loose without applying heat first, just to see where we're at. And when you do this, be very, very gentle. Okay, I felt it just barely crack there. I don't know if you guys heard that, but I heard it crack going this way. So now I'm gonna flip my ratchet to tighten it. We're gonna come up. Okay. We're just gonna slowly work it back and forth to kind of loosen that bolt up. You can see the thread starting to turn. If you're very slow with this process, you can feel it in your hand if the bolt starts to kind of twist itself. What I mean, you have a bolt, this is a head bolt, but if the threads are stuck, and you start twisting this head, the threads will stay here and this shank will start turning. But what actually turns is this little area right here in the very first deep thread that was cut on this bolt, it'll snap it right there every single time. So if you do this, just like that, it'll come off really easy. Okay, so now here's one of the most important parts. Do not remove this bolt completely. Once you know it's good to go where you got it broken loose, you need to tighten it back down. There, this is one of the most critical parts of this entire operation. Do not go through and start removing every single bolt because by the time you get here and here, you're probably gonna snap these bolts. The reason is because this entire exhaust manifold is machined for this surface here to be completely flat and clamped down evenly to the head. If you loosen this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, and this bolt, instead of remaining flat, it's gonna start doing this. <clears throat> um, you're gonna start having a gap here and it's actually gonna wedge these bolts tighter on this side and you're gonna fight the, 
you're gonna end up fighting it. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the rest of these, do that exact same where I tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen, tighten, loosen. Um, and then once we get to the end, I'm gonna go ahead and break out the torch. And just in case you need to use a torch, I'll show you exactly how to. I'm gonna zoom in on this particular bolt. I want you guys to watch right behind this head. As this bolt comes out, look at all the rust just falling out of this little hole. This is the main thing that you're gonna fight on exhaust manifold bolts. It's not actually the threads into the head, it's the bolt going through the exhaust manifold that makes it so difficult. And that's what rusts everything together. So this one's a lot tighter than I'd like. I'm gonna go ahead and get out my torch. We're just gonna heat up this area. We don't need to heat up the bolt, we just need this area to expand. I don't know if you guys heard that crack or not. Let's see if that was this bolt. Giving up the ghost. You can see all that rust just falling out of that bolt hole. That is the number one thing you're always going to be having issues with. So what I'll do is I'll back this guy out right about there. I'll spray it down with some knocker loose. And then we'll tighten her back down. That one came out pretty easy.
What's funny about doing this is when you're holding a torch, if you get it right, you'll actually hear it go click. And usually that means you're good to go. Oops. So you guys, right there is the difference between using a um, 12 point socket and a six point socket. This bolt has already been broke loose, but even just that little bit of torque on it, stripped it out. There you go. Our bolts are all out. And that's my secret to getting exhaust manifold bolts out. Now, one more tip. When you go to reinstall these, I always use anti-seize on the bolt shoulders and the threads. Coat them in anti-seize. Also, take you a tap. Take your time. Run a tap through all of these holes on your exhaust manifold. They get rust in there from water corrosion and the swelling of two dissimilar metals or three dissimilar metals. Um, and you'll go running the bolt in there and sometimes it'll look like it tightened up, but really you just crammed a whole bunch of crap into the hole. Guys, take your time with bolts that are hard to break loose, especially any sort of bolt that was subjected to a lot of heat. It's gonna have corrosion buildup. It's going to be a pain in the butt. Just remember, try to use six point sockets Use the biggest ratchet that you can. They generally, like the larger sockets, don't open up as much and uh, strip stuff out, uh, like the 3 8 and quarter inch. I mean, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and try it. But use a six point impact grade socket, that'll help. Use lots and lots of penetrating lube and take in a torch if you need to. Just take your time. Try to loosen it, try to tighten it. While you're loosening it, if you notice that all of a sudden, it's just free willing and it gets stick, stuck. It's like, argh, stop what you're doing. Don't keep trying to go because you're gonna snap that bolt. If it gets seized up, spray it down with lube, tighten it back up, spray it down with lube, walk it back out. Try that a few times. If it keeps getting stuck, try a little heat. Um, if heat doesn't work and you've tried every single thing that you possibly can, then sometimes you're just gonna have to snap the bolt head off. I have had to do that before and it's fine, but when you do it, don't just keep loosening the bolt until you snap it because it'll snap it off at the thread and make it, you know, that bottom thread right there and make it really, really difficult. If you can get a saw in there and you can cut the shoulder part and you have some thread sticking out like that, then you can actually just get you a regular nut, um, tack weld it on there and let it cool down, then you can spin it out that way. I've done that too. Um, normally I don't have to do that if you just take your time. It might seem like I ain't got time for that. It's gonna take you three to four times longer to drill one single manifold bolt out on the car, on the vehicle, or on the truck, or on the equipment, whatever you're working on, um, than it is just to sit there and jack with that one bolt, tighten it, loosen, tighten it, loosen, tighten it, loosen. Um, and you're not destroying anything. Uh, the only other word of advice I have for you guys, don't reuse exhaust manifold bolts. They've had too many heat cycles. Once they tighten and clamp, they're fine, but once you loosen them, usually they'll fracture and break at that point. If you have any tips that I didn't go over in removing exhaust manifold bolts, I'd like to hear it. Um, 
I'd like to hear you guys' stories about it because a lot of people read the comments and they get a lot of really good advice in the comments for little tips and tricks like that. And maybe your comment would help that one person out that watched this video and I didn't exactly explain it right. I didn't exactly do the, uh, the process that applies to them, but you put it in the comments and somebody was able to uh, fix their whatever because of you. It's the whole reason I do YouTube videos. Um, that's it for this video. I got to get the cylinder head back on the 7.3. In the meantime, guys, my shop is here in Granbury right off Highway 51. If you see my service truck parked outside, stop on by, make a trip. And if I'm not here, just shoot me a message. I live pretty close. Here in the next few weeks, once all this Corona stuff comes up and they clear us back to go normal, if they ever clear us back to go normal, I want to have a get together here at the shop. Now a little uh, open house party. In the meantime, if you guys have something broke down or you want to fix, if it's a diesel truck, piece of equipment, whatever the heck you got, shoot me a message, bring it by the shop, and we'll get you fixed up. Hit the like button, subscribe button, and get out and fix something.